Well, Senator, as it relates to legalized marijuana, it seems like everything was a full go, and now possibly it's not. What's going on? Well, I mean, the devil, the details are always, the devil's always in the details, right? That's always important. And you have competing forces uh, that want to not necessarily control, but frame the way the mar recreational marijuana business is going to happen in the state of New York. Um, you have the large companies that are in the medical marijuana industry already that we want to prevent some of the vertical integration that will allow them to now monopolize the recreational industry. I mean, there's no doubt about who has the big bucks. Um, their economic power should not allow them to monopolize this industry. We have our communities of color that were terribly um, impacted. The inequities of convictions related to marijuana were in black and brown communities. And so it would be inherently unjust and unfair for us as legislators, especially those that represent communities of color, to allow these large companies, these large investors to benefit now after our kids were put in jail, have the scarlet letter of marijuana convictions. It would be inherently unfair for our communities not to be in a position to economically benefit from this new industry. And that's what we are fighting for as legislators. Now, I mean, there are also legislators that go beyond communities of color that understand the concept of fairness. Um, but for us, especially representing communities of color, it's very important that this be part of legalization. And if it's not done in advance, in terms of what's going to be the benefit for the community, this may not pass this year? It would be very difficult, I'd say almost impossible, for me as a senator to vote for legislation that would legalize but did not have that component of economic benefits, money set aside for investment for young entrepreneurs in our communities to be able to benefit. The other component is restorative justice. All right, we have to we have to seal records, we have to clear records of people that uh, were convicted on uh, marijuana convictions. Our communities, again, were impacted greater than any other community. So you talk about the restorative justice component and the economic benefit component for our communities. It would be almost impossible for me to vote to legalize if those two components aren't front and center. Wow. Um, <clears throat> so, and I'm almost done, Senator. What is it that you would like to see in your ideal world? I'm talking about the the economics now. Yeah. And why is it so important that it has to be in writing in advance? Because you never leave anything to chance when it comes to legislation and policy with government. Because when you do that, you have a lot of unintended consequences. Um, I have no doubt that if we're not specific, the big companies will gobble up the industry. You're hearing now um, cigarette companies that are now starting to immerse themselves in legalization of marijuana, and they have an immense economic power. Um, so we have to frame it now. The legislation has to be specific so that young men and women in black and brown communities are the first in line to benefit from this industry. Um, you have to make sure that uh, you set the lines you put all as much detail as possible so that once it becomes legalized, um, there's no other path that you can take. A lot of times we have legislation and we, don't, we aren't that specific and it creates problems later on. And this is so critically important that we cannot allow that to happen. Wow. So you want to see, is there a certain percentage that you would, what, what's fair? I'm just curious. What's right. fair? Well, the, the, um, the way the legislation is written now, uh, it would allow 21-year-olds uh, and older to be able to economically invest in a company or start their own startups. I believe it should be a younger age, 18 years old, because if these 18-year-olds are allowed to go to war and die for this country, why not give them an opportunity to invest and make money? Um, if you look at the communities that we represent, a lot of times this is young 18, 19, 20 year olds that are getting arrested. Um, and I think why not give them an opportunity, just like an 18 and 19 year old can start a, a, a startup tech company, what's the difference with legalization of marijuana? Um, so I wanna see a real strong bill that sets aside 
a certain amount of money, be it from these companies that are in the medical marijuana industry, that sets aside a significant amount of money to provide low interest loans to individuals who live in poor communities and black and brown communities that have a considerable set aside for minority for minority women in business enterprises because the MWBs can be a great channel to make sure that our communities get the benefits. That is numero uno to me. Without that, I will not vote for this uh, legislation.